I, I want to read today two uh, poems by um, T.S. Eliot, which uh, both have a theme of pilgrimage. Uh, the first, very obviously, a journey of the Magi, the journey the Magi took to uh, Bethlehem, and which we celebrate in the Feast of the, the Epiphany. Uh, and the second, uh, a journey, a much more complex journey, but I, I'll speak about that, I'll introduce that in, in a moment. The Journey of the Magi is Eliot's first poem after his conversion uh, to the Anglican Church in 1927. And um, it, in a way, it's sort of slightly a shell-shocked uh, poem. It's almost as if he's emerged from this um, difficult, uh, he did have a very difficult time, and uh, the, the poem sort of reflects uh, that. But it's still a wonderful uh, poem to read at this time of the year. And then uh, the second poem, The Little Getting, is perhaps a more optimistic, or much more optimistic uh, picture. Journey of the Magi. A cold coming we had of it, just the worst time of the year for a journey, and such a long journey. The ways deep and the weather sharp, the very dead of winter. And the camels galled, sore-footed, refractory, lying down in the melted snow. There were times we regretted the summer palaces on slopes the terraces and the silken girls bringing sherbet. Then the camel men cursing and grumbling and running away and wanting their liquor and women and the night fires going out and the lack of shelters and the cities hostile and the towns unfriendly and the villages dirty and charging high prices. A hard time we had of it. At the end, we preferred to travel all night sleeping in snatches, with the voices singing in our ears, saying that this was all folly. Then at dawn, we came down to a temperate valley, wet below the snow line, smelling of vegetation, with a running stream and a water mill beating the darkness, and three trees on the low sky, and an old white horse galloped away in the meadow. Then we came to a tavern with vine leaves over the lintel, six hands at an open door, dicing her pieces of silver, and feet kicking the empty wineskins. But there was no information, and so we continued and arrived at evening, not a moment too soon, finding the place. It was, you may say, satisfactory. All this was a long time ago, I remember. And I would do it again, but set down this, set down this. Were we led all that way for birth or death? There was a birth, certainly. We had evidence and no doubt. I had seen birth and death, but had thought they were different. This birth was hard and bitter agony for us, like death, our death. We return to our places, these kingdoms, but no longer at ease here in the old dispensation with an alien people clutching their gods. I should be glad of another death. 